The celebration of Pride Month continues this morning with the Philly Pride Parade and Festival. The march goes through a mile and a half of Center City, Philadelphia. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lands takes a look at the important meaning of this year's parade. Something I do every year. Philadelphia's LGBTQ parade will start at 13th and Locust Streets in the heart of the neighborhood. Last year, the organization Philly Pride Presents had its 30th Pride Day. The nation's birthplace was one of the first cities in the United States with a pride parade that started in 1972. Many planning to attend say it's still needed today. Being black and gay and being rejected from churches to religion, wherever we go, this is just not right. We're human just like everybody else. Earlier on Saturday, Visit Philly hosted an event to mark the 50th anniversary of the 1969 Stonewall riots in New York City that launched the LGBTQ civil rights movement. Supporters came down to the Cherry Street Pier on Columbus Boulevard to participate in the hashtag I am Stonewall Rainbow Ribbon activation. Many wrote messages on ribbons of love and support. All of them will go on a float for the parade. Christina Morris and Rihanna Salm are looking forward to participating in this year's parade. Pride started as a riot, as a protest. Um, and to know that, you know, this year is the 50th anniversary of that. I know New York is going huge, but I know Philly goes just as huge. <laughs> uh, so I know that tomorrow is going to be a great time. It's going to be huge. It's going to be a celebration, but it's honestly just going to be um, a really deep embrace of, of what it means to love yourself and love others and love freely and knowing that that's a right for people and that um, just being yourself is a human right. Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.